This is really expanding binomials. So we've got uh, two numbers there, bi, and two numbers there, so that's the binomial as well. Uh, so when we expand, I've called it expanding quadratic brackets, it expands to make a quadratic. A quadratic is a, the highest term is an x squared. So what you do is every term here multiplies every term here. And the way I like to do it is this way, it doesn't matter what order. So we're going to do that one first, x times x, x squared. Next one, x times 2, that's 2x. And then we move to this one now. 1 times x, that's plus 1. I'm going to put the 1 there, I don't really need it. And then 1 times 2, well that's just 2. Now we can simplify a bit. So there's only one term in x squared, so that stays as x squared. Now here, we've got two terms in x. So that's 2 plus 1, 3x. And then add the 2 on the end. And there we are. That's a quadratic expression made from the two binomials. Okay. And just to prove that it works, um, what I mean is that it does actually add up to the right uh, number, if you actually put numbers in for x. Imagine x was 6, so we say let x equal 6. So in this here, we've got 6 plus 1, well that's 7, and 6 plus 2, well that's 8, so 7 times 8 should equal 56. Let's see if it happens with this. So x squared, so that should be 6 squared, plus 3 times x, well 3 times 6, 18, plus 2, right, here we go then, 18 plus 2 is 20, and 6 squared is 36, so 20 plus 36 equals 56, same as 7 times 8, so it works. Just give you a few more examples, and uh, just to see what happens with something a bit more complicated. So here's a few examples. Do this one first. X times x. X squared. X times minus two. Minus two x. Four times x. Plus four x. And four times minus two minus 8. Click the like terms together. Well, we've only got x squared. This bit clicks together. So that becomes plus 2x minus 8. That's that one done. Now this one. 3x times 2x. 6x squared. 3x times 7 plus 21 x. 2 times 2x plus 4x. And 2 times 7 plus 14. 6x squared. Collect the like terms. 21 plus 4 plus 25x and plus 14. One comment I'll make here, the order in which I do them here means that these terms that can be collected together, they're always in the middle. There's, um, it doesn't matter what order you multiply these together in, but uh, sometimes a smiley face is done, which is fine, because it's a good way of remembering it, but it tends to put these ones that are collected together towards the end, um, and they're separated. So I, th I tend to prefer this method here. Okay, we go to this one. And this time I won't put in the things, I'll just show it like this. x times x, x squared, x times minus 2, minus 2x, minus 3 times x, minus 3x, 
minus 3 times minus 2, that's a plus, minus times a minus, plus 6. Collect the like terms that are in the middle, so x squared minus 5x plus 6. So that's that one. Now this last one is quite interesting. We've got x plus 3 times x minus 3. It's the same number. The only difference is the plus and the minus. Whenever you see that, you know the result will be the difference of two squares. So let's uh, expand it and see what happens. x times x, x squared. x times minus 3, minus 3x. Three 3 times x, plus 3x. Plus 3 times minus 3, minus 9. That simplifies to x squared. These things disappear. Minus 3x, plus 3x. There's no x's. Minus 9. When I say it's the difference of two squares, we can see this in another way. It's the same as x squared minus 3 squared. The difference of two squares. And that is how you expand these brackets to make quadratics. It's well worth practicing. It's bound to come up in GCSE, especially at the higher level.